Here we are, beautiful, beautiful morning out jigging. Straight up, working a shoal wide of three rocks. And Sam's on. What do you got, mate? No idea. No idea. Jason's on with my fish on five pound. He could be a while. Lee just landed a nice trevally on the jigs. Up a bit more, mate. And uh, yeah, on the elevator jig head, eh? Yep. Elevator jig head and a got Lumo got striper with a tail bitten off at the moment. Oh, the tail wasn't bitten off to start with. All right. Ready. How good's this weather? Just on a little uh, slug. Jigging. Here we come. Colour. Here's a finger mark. You're a... Is it? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, man. finger mark. Oh, cracker fish. On the one. Be careful, it's only like leader hold on. I don't know, don't look at it. That's right. Oh, that's awesome, mate. Awesome. Well, well done, Jase. That's what we do with red to uh, spark them up. Uh, Alco twisty, 30 gram, and that was my fish. It was. We're calling Trevally, but no, nah, beautiful finger mark. Half a dozen of these will be good. What's your theory you made with the finger mark? Because I reckon they're hitting the plastics, but they're not hitting the baits. So they like that they're, bit of movement? Yeah, they're a predatory fish. Um, it's one of those things, you know, if it runs away, the predatory instincts stink, you know, they kick in and they chase it. Um, the old the old theory with finger mark was always live squid at night, um, but you know during the daytime early hours is always best, and um, you do seem to pick them up on uh, on a, a range of soft plastics. Yeah, and big ones, eh? Big ones, quality fish. Them. 